This is an upper body cardio acceleration workout. So what that means is you're going to do about five moves that are focused on your upper body. In between those moves, you're going to do a cardio exercise. So I'm gonna go through all the um, upper body moves and then I'll show you the cardio exercise that you'll be doing in between each. So um, you'll do this five times through, so each round will be a different cardio interval. We're gonna start with a bent over row. Next, grab your dumbbells, palms face in, you get your hips and just squeeze, squeeze. Sit low and raise the core. Swallow the spine, flex the biceps. So you'll do your bent over rows for the prescribed amount of time. And for this first round, you're gonna move into jumping jacks, but I'll show all the cardio um, after this. Uh, next, we move into a bridge pose with a chest press. So lift the hips up for bridge. 90 degree bend at the elbows, press the weights, lower, press, lower. You want those weights to be at about nipple or bra line. Squeeze the chest, keep those hips up, don't let the booty sag. Then you'll come up and do the cardio interval. Your third exercise is a thruster. Weights at the shoulders, palms in, bent elbows, squat stance, sit back, drive up. And that's gonna get your heart rate up anyway, so you're just gonna continue to keep the heart rate up through the cardio. And then we move into curls. Just regular old bicep curls, palms facing forward. Remember to control the weights on the way down. Squeeze biceps at the top. And really focus on your pinky fingers, pinky fingers coming up to the shoulders. You'll feel a little extra squeeze there. Then you'll have your cardio interval. And then our last move is overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna come to kneeling because I'm not sure you can see it if I'm standing. Both weights in the hands or a heavier, one heavier dumbbell. Arms overhead, bend the elbows, straighten the arms. Remember that you have to keep those elbows in tight. Don't let the elbows come out. And act as though you're throwing the weights away from you. Squeeze. and then you wrap it up with um, a cardio interval. So, the cardio intervals for round one, jumping jacks. You do jumping jacks in between each lift. Round two, lateral lunge and touchdown. So we did these in our, that local cardio. Remember, you replace one foot with the other and touch down. Hitting those inner thighs, outer hips. Number three, it's a broad jump, and you turn around and broad jump again. I'm gonna move my weight so I don't <laughs> break an ankle. So what you do, you kind of start the squat. You jump forward, land in the squat, turn around. Jump forward, turn around. Jump forward, turn around. It's a lot harder than it looks. Um, and then our fourth round, high knees. Last round, fifth round, dumbbell or kettlebell swings. Have your weight, weights or kettlebell and swing. One thing I did not mention before is you want the weight to stay in the heels when you're doing that swing. And also, um, what did I want to say? There's one other thing. Make sure you're hugging your inner thighs up at the top of the movement, and you're squeezing your core once the weights come to about nose height. Oh yes, and then the last thing, you're gonna have the weights or the kettlebells pretty close to your groins. You don't wanna take a deep bend and swing the weight down low, because then your chest is gonna come down. So keep it pretty high and tight. And with that, You've got an amazing workout. Good luck.